Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here and today we're going to be going over the all new 2020 Ford F-150 XLT in the Sport Package. So that pretty much makes everything body painted. And yes, when they get a black appearance package in the XLT, I'll be showing that to you guys. But as always, we're going to do a quick walk around on the F-150. Then we're going to take it out to see how it drives. A big shout out and thank you to the Larry H. Miller Ford Lincoln here in Provo, Utah for providing us with the truck. Check out their inventory in the link below if you're in the market for a new Ford. So under the hood here, we have a twin turbocharged 3.5 liter V6 that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 375 horsepower and then 470 pound feet of torque with fuel economy being 16 around town and then 22 on the highway. Now let's finish things up on the front end. So we can go over the hood first and foremost. You can see on the hood, it's got these nice muscular bulges on the top. You do have the regular halogen lights up front. And then you notice this is where the changes happen. So that has now been darkened. Um, it's pretty much a magnetic. It's, it's what it's really close to color wise. You've got the body painted bumpers, fog lamps right there. And then you've got the little tow hooks down below. So you can compare this sport package to what like a regular XLT looks like. You can see that the regular XLT has a bunch of chrome on the front, whereas everything here is body painted. So it definitely looks a whole lot sportier. So around the side here, we've got 275 millimeter tires on 18 inch rims. Pretty standard setup for a truck. I really like the design on these rims. You can see that it's kind of like a more kind of like polished look on the rims. Really, really solid right there. And you can see it's got the blacked out side steps that go along the length of the truck. F-150 XLT badging. And then on the back right here, you can barely see it, but it says sports. You know this is a sport package. The key fob for the XLT F-150. You got a couple functions on it. Your lock and unlock, and then it is a flip out key. Um, but obviously we can unlock the truck. And yes, I'll get exhaust clips for you guys later on. But now that the truck is unlocked, we can go and lower down the bed. Notice there's a little light right here. So at nighttime, it'll kind of illuminate this little area. But we can lower down the bed. It is not slow lowering so you notice it will just fall right down so you do have to hold the tailgate to let it go down you can get a spraying bed liner from the factory or you can get it after the fact this one doesn't have it led bed lights here in the rear as well and you can see this is the shorter sized bed with the little cargo light up top and then we can actually open this up here see this pulls down to be a step so it makes getting in and out of the bed a whole lot easier and you can pull this little part um, up as well so that it's like a little handle to get up and into the bed and then when you're done with it you just gotta load it all up and then when you want to shut the bed obviously just pick it up it is a little bit heavier with that bed step but you get added functionality now finishing things up in the back we can see the tail lights right here so these are not the upgraded tail lights but they still look really good I like the little accents that go around it Ford logo on the back F-150, you've got the little EcoBoost badge back there. All of your plugins for towing, your receiver hitch, parking sensors on the back bumper. And then here's just one more look at the rear. Now actually coming to the rear here, I actually like the paneling here on the XLT. So you can see they kind of use this to kind of mimic the carbon fiber that's like in a Lariat or the Raptor. You kind of got some padding right here, little thing for the window controls. And then obviously the steps will help getting in and out of the back. Here is a full view of the back seats. We can see that it's the cloth. And then just zooming in so you guys can kind of see the design on the cloth seats. I think that's a pretty neat little touch right there. And then over here we can see that we've got a bunch of little charging stations, cup holders up top, and then that is a little thing for the mat pocket. And then we can lift up the seat. There is storage underneath the seat. Um, other than that, things are pretty normal in the rear. And here's just one more look. Now opening up the panel in the front, and you see the panel in the front looks pretty much identical to the one in the rear. So. Other than the fact that you get a little bit more padding here, this trim right here is pretty much the same. You got the cool little door handle again. All of your window controls, mirror controls, door lock and unlock. One of the speakers for the sound system. And then you've got this seats here in the front. And here's kind of like a full look at the front. But going into the seats, we can see it's got that same cool kind of like pattern on the seats. Fully power adjustable in the XLT. And then you got the pedal layout, which is just down below. Parking brake right here, you got your power adjustable pedals, your light controls are all in this little area. You can see right there you've got your fog lights and the cargo light. And then the steering wheel is going to be manually adjustable. And again, one more look for you guys. So you just have to you stick the key in the ignition old school style to start up the truck. So stick it in, twist it, and then it'll say built Ford tough and everything will come to life. Here is the full view of the steering wheel. We can zoom in. You can see that you've got the Ford logo front and center, volume controls there off to the side. 
you got all your voice commands, phone controls right there, and you got kind of like this nice little trim here that is pretty close again to the color magnetic. Cruise control settings are over here, and then those are the controls for the center stack, fully wrapped with kind of leather. It is a little bit more abrasive, and then you've got the stitching on the center of the steering wheel, and then you got your little light control right there. Um, also, the windshield wiper control. This is like where you're gonna flash your brights, and then also do the. Uh, windshield wipers so we've got our gauge cluster right here in the center you've got your rpms on the left side on the right side you've got your speed and you can see there that gives me a warning with the fuel but you can see there's a couple different menus that you can kind of scroll through on this this is kind of um like the not the upgraded version but this is kind of like the initial version that you get on the f-150 so it's a little bit simpler um, but it gives you pretty much all the same information it's pretty easy to use still gives you like the off-road status which i think is cool um just doesn't look as nice as what's like on the lariat limited and the king ranch and then raptor as well for example We've got our stability control right here hazard lights auto stop start and then here is the infotainment system let's go over the backup camera first and foremost pop it in reverse you can see some lines will pop up they turn with the steering wheel, just like all the other F-150s. And then you can zoom in on the receiver hitch if you want as well. And then you got the parking sensors there in the rear that will illuminate when you're getting closer to something. Other than that, um, this infotainment system is really good. It's really easy to use. You can see response time on it, even though, you know, there's plastic covering over it. It's pretty decent on the response time things. You can get the valley mode. The Ford Pass is pretty neat. You can also do the app and everything where you can like lock the truck from the app, which is a nice little function. And then got the navigation right here where you can basically set everything. So, and then we actually go to the navigation to see the map view. But other than that, pretty standard setup for most trucks nowadays. So just down below here, we've got our controls for the radio. It is a single zone climate here in the XLT. This is the system for the two wheel high, four wheel high, four wheel low. And then you can see you've got the lockers and it tells you what to do to get into that. You gotta pull it out. And then you got the trailer backup system. And then you got the trailer brake controls that are integrated. This is the shifter for that 10 speed automatic transmission that goes with the 3.5 EcoBoost. You can shift the gears manually if you want with those buttons. And then here's kind of like a full view so you can see how the whole shifter kind of functions and then what it sounds like when it's going into the different gears. We've got a couple cup holders right here, extra storage just underneath a couple charging stations. And notice this has that same kind of trim on the outside. Now here's the full center console lined with leather, has stitching. This feels exactly the same as what is in the Lariat. The sides don't feel as nice, but this top part feels identical. Now opening it up, we can see that you've got some storage there on the top. This center console looks identical to all the other upgraded F-150s with the center console. And then popping over the glove box, again, you've got kind of some rubber trim just up above it. And then if we fully open it up, Glove box has two tiers on it and overall a decent amount of storage space. And finally, forgot to mention there are some power outlets and then a 12 volt. Now this is the sunglass holder. You kind of have to like click it in to get it um, into place pretty well. But you got the power rear sliding window that you can open and close via that little control right there. All the other light controls. Other than that, things are pretty normal up top. Now let's finish things up on the interior of the F-150 by going over pricing on this XLT. So this particular XLT with the sport package and all the features that it has stickers for just over $53,000 which is pretty competitive market wise with the Ram 1500 Bighorn and then the Chevy 1500 LT they're all pretty close in the same price range so price wise it's competitive with the other trucks that all being said though let's take this XLT out to see how it drives set off in the 2020 f-150 xlt let's talk about visibility you see visibility over the hood just like all the other f-150s and then through the mirrors it again is just like all the other f-150s i like those little convex mirrors definitely help out visibility and then we can see visibility throughout the rear again it's identical to any other f-150 nothing's changed and yes i'm going to turn on my heated seat because it's a little bit chilly outside now Let's set off. Now, initially setting off here in the F-150 XLT, let's talk about road noise and ride quality. So in terms of road noise, I feel like it's a pretty well insulated cabin. It does pretty well with just, you know, mitigating all of the sound. You do hear a little bit from the outside, you know, in terms of wind noise, tire noise, and a little bit from the exhaust. Now in terms of ride quality, 
really smooth. Um, this part of the F-150 series is definitely going to be the smoother part. So because it doesn't have gigantic rims or, you know, big off-road tires, it's going to definitely ride smoother compared to other F-150s that have either or. Now let's get a little acceleration here at the XLT. Definitely really peppy with that 3.5 liter EcoBoost. You know, I've said it in all of my other reviews on the new F-150s. No, it doesn't sound as good as a naturally aspirated V8. However, all of that torque definitely pays off. Um, so in terms of acceleration, I would say right now with the, you know, regular series trucks, the Chevy right now is probably, you know, close to the quickest with that 6.2 liter. This Ford is definitely the second quickest in terms of how it feels acceleration wise with a 3.5 and then the Ram um, would be in last place. So if you guys care about acceleration and all of that. To sum things up on the F-150 XLT, again, if you're looking for a truck with most of the upgraded features, obviously a cooler exterior package and you don't want to pay the premium for a Lariat or Platinum or Limited or Wrapped or any of that kind of stuff, then the XLT is a great package to go for. You know, they usually have, you know, pretty good programs on these trucks and you know the starting price really is pretty competitive like I said earlier in the video so all around it's a really solid package and that's why a lot of people will end up buying the XLT. And there we have it everyone the 2020 Ford F-150 XLT with the sport package really cool truck if you want obviously the upgraded power and towing but don't want to pay for all of the bells and whistles that like a Lariat or a Platinum or Limited has. That all being said though, if you are stopping for the first time, please subscribe, comment down below what you think. And then again, a big shout out and thank you to the Larry H. Miller Ford Lincoln here in Provo for providing us with the truck. Check out their inventory in the link below.